Long Island's largest school district today banned any more fatty snacks or drinks in school vending machines. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose says Brentwood schools are the first to implement the new tougher federal standards against junk food in schools. <laughs> Brentwood High School students crowded into the hallways to help strip vending machines of all their favorite snack foods. Tasty but fattening treats that experts say have contributed to an alarming rise in childhood diabetes and obesity. Our obesity in, tween, in, in teens has tripled since 1980 and therefore developing health problems later on in life and eventually shortening their lifespan. <laughs> School staff work to replace the banned products from vending machines in advance of new federal rules taking effect July 1st. The new rules ban almost all carbonated drinks and any snacks containing more than 200 calories. Public schools taking federal lunch money must instead feature snacks with whole grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy, or protein. What do you tend to like? Um, Doritos. High school junior Fatima Taranta says she'll miss her Doritos but will try to get used to the healthier snacks. You know, it's a good thing and... Everybody can take advantage of it, so I think it's a great chance. Vending machine distributors say most schools are waiting till the fall to do the vending machine makeover. We serviced over 30 school districts in Nassau and Suffolk County, and Brentwood was on the forefront of this initiative, and we're going to make sure that every one of our customers that we service, uh, you know, understand the law and they're in full compliance with everything that we operate. And Brentwood students applauded as the last of the banned snacks were dumped in trash cans, and it's what the federal government will now expect from all schools when they reopen in the fall. In Brentwood, Richard Rose, TV 1055. The vending company can still use the snacks banned from the school in public machines they have elsewhere.